In this video, we are going to talk about even hold functions. So, determine whether the following functions are even or hold or neither. So, there are some functions that are even, some are hold, and others are neither even nor hold. So, before we get to solve these questions, let's understand some of the basic concepts. Okay, so what is an even function? So, we can say an even function is a function that is unchanged when reflected about the y-axis. So when you have a graph like this, such a function, a very good example is uh, y is equal to x squared. So when you have y is equal to x squared, it's unchanged when rotated about the y-axis. So whether you try in a negative value, a positive value, they're going to give you the same value of y. That's what we mean when we say it's unchanged. Okay, so basically algebraically we can show this by saying the function of x is equal to the function of negative x. So that is a basic concept about uh, an even function. So for example, if they ask you to show whether this one is an even or odd function, you can say the function of f of x itself, of course what you have is x squared. Now try to get the function of negative x. So you get where there is x, you plug in the negative x, it will still be x squared. So whenever, so this is what we are going to be using when proving whether a function is even. Okay, so how about an odd function? What is an odd function? So with, with an odd function, What we deal with is the fact that for it, it is unchanged when you're looking at it after it is rotated 180 degrees. Okay? So such a function may come out like this. So its behavior will be the same after being rotated 180 degrees. So a very good example is uh, f of x is x cubed. So algebraically, we are not function, we say, the negative of f of x is equal to function of negative x. Okay? So, a very good example is what I've drawn there. So, we can try it out. For the negative of that function, negative f of x of that function is going to be negative x cubed. Then, for the function of negative x, we plug in negative x where there's x. So, it will still be negative x cubed. So that is how you prove whether a function is hot or not. Okay, so there are some functions that don't agree to both conditions. Remember the conditions that we've talked about? We've said for an even function, this is possible when a function of uh, x is equal to the function of negative x. Then for an odd function, we've said this is true when the function of x so when the function of negative x is equal to negative f of x, then there are some functions which are neither. Okay? So meaning that both conditions are not satisfied. Are satisfied. Okay. So now let's try to solve the questions that we have. Okay, question one. We're trying to determine whether it's even hold or neither. So what if we've been taught? So we have f of x being equal to 3x squared plus 8. So we're going to start with sh by showing that it's even. So what you can do is first of all come up with f of x, f of negative x. So you plug in where there is x squared, you put negative x, you square it plus 8. So it's going to be 3x squared plus 8. So nothing has changed about it. So we said whenever f of x is equal to the function of negative x, then the function is what? Is even. So what we have is an even function. Because we are able to see that the function of negative x and the function of x are equal. So it's even. So if you try out it being an odd function, 
by trying to determine negative f of x, we are going to have negative 3x squared. So meaning that we multiply the function by negative. By negative. So this is not equal to, to the function of negative x. So therefore, this function is not odd, but it's what? It's even. Okay, so you can pause the video and try out the other questions before checking the solutions. So for the second one, they are telling us the function of x. So we're looking at this one. The function of x is equal to x to the power 5 minus 4x. So we're trying to prove whether it's even hold or neither. So as usual, we need to first of all come up with function of negative x, negative f of x, these are going to help us predict. So what is the function of negative x? So you plug in at every point where you have x, you plug in the negative. So whenever you raise a negative value inside the brackets to and hold power, it's going to be a negative. So it's negative x to the power 5. Then you put a negative there, multiply by that positive, it will become positive, which is going to be plus 4x. Then this one means you multiply the whole function by a negative. So you are going to have negative x to the power 5. Then where is minus 4x is going to be plus 4x. Okay. So are these equal? They are not. So this function is not, not even. But for hold, we compare the negative x and the function of negative x. So this is true. So it's an odd function. Okay, how about the third one? 2x squared minus x minus 1. So try out the 2, negative of x. Where there is x squared, we put that. It will still be the same. Then where there is a negative x, we put negative x. It's going to give us a positive x minus 1. Try out function of the negative of a function. So you multiply the function by a negative, it is going to be minus 2x squared minus, so it will become positive there, x plus 1. So for an even function, we are saying the function of x should be equal to function of negative x, which is not true in this case. So this function is not what? It's not even. So then for an odd function, we are saying that the, function, the negative of the function is supposed to be equal to the function of negative x. So you compare these. Are they the same? They are not. So this function is not even hot. So we can say it's neither. Right. Then for the last question. They're asking us to show as well. So we can do that. So the negative of that function. We multiply the whole function by negatives going to be negative x to the power 4 minus 3x squared. Then again, another determiner is the function of negative x. So where we have x, we put negative x. So whenever you raise a negative number to an even power, it's going to be positive. So even that is also a, an even power, it will be positive. So we said for an even function, you compare the function of x with the negative of a function. So which is the same in this case. So this function is even. So for an odd function, in summary, we compare the negative of a function with the function of a negative. So if they are the same, then it's odd. So in this case, they are different. So this function is not what? It's not odd. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.